Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. We're gonna continue that with a good video. And if you're not having a good day, well, I hope this video makes your day feel a lot better. Before I get started with the video, let me show you guys something real quick. So, we got this S550. This thing is so cool. Um, you guys are gonna see a few videos with it. I've been driving it for the past four days. And this thing has been really, really fun. I mean, it's exactly what Parker had on his channel. I'm not sure what he called it, Ariana or something like that, but it was the exact same thing. It's a S550. It is beautiful, luxurious. It is so cool. And I've been enjoying driving it for the past four days. I do apologize for the wind. But yeah, uh, maybe a video coming with that. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think I should make a video with this? Maybe a quick review? Let me know, this has tons of great options that I think you guys would be interested in. So enough about the S550. Today, we're gonna try to focus on this baby right here. I know I haven't been making videos with it. I really haven't been driving it as much. I've just been so busy doing a lot of other things, but I can't neglect my baby. So today, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go fill her up with some fresh E85. It has nothing right now. Also, we're gonna go and give it a wash. And then also, we're gonna discuss a topic that I've been meaning to discuss. And um, I don't wanna get any hate for it, um, even though I probably will, but I like to speak the truth on every topic that I bring up. So, uh, unfortunately, the truth hurts sometimes. But anyways, let's start the Mustang and get going. You guys are probably wondering why I have a backpack. No, I'm not going to school. I just have my camera equipment in here and it does kind of feel like I'm going to school. But anyways, let's start the car and get going. All right, we got the keys right here. Let's turn her on. Let's not forget about the Hellcat. If you guys want to see this boat run nines, click the last video I uploaded and you guys are going to see this boat get in the nines. It's pretty epic. Also, taking it to the track in a few days as well to try to beat my best time. So if you want to see that, go check that out in the last video. Let's get my backpack in here. Alright. And uh, let's get in this bad boy. So the other day, I actually found out there's a compartment that comes out here. I believe it's for your glasses. I just noticed that. You just press it and it comes out. Pretty cool. But as you can see, we are low on fuel. So we got to go get some fuel. All right, guys. So we're here getting some E5 270. I'm not sure why this gas station overprices the living life out of their E85. It's usually 210 from everywhere else. So right now, I'm filling up the Mustang and then... You guys are all been wondering what happened to the vet. Last time I told you guys it got towed, it broke down. I think the motor blew, I'm not sure. And it's back at the dealership. And right now I'm headed to the dealership to see what is exactly going on with it. Honestly, like, they, I don't think they've touched it. It's been there for over a week now. After we said it started ticking after they gave it back. So it wasn't ticking until they gave it back. So we're gonna go check on it and I'm gonna try to give you guys an honest answer to what is going on with it. Cause a lot of you guys have been asking. So I'm about to finish pumping up and then I'm about to roll there. So I just stopped and got some Starbucks. I don't usually get Starbucks at all. This is not my thing, but I was craving this strawberry smoothie. So why not? Let's see what this is all about. All right guys, so I'm here at Chevy. I'm gonna go down and see what they're talking about two hours later all right guys so just got out of the dealership uh let's get in here to talk so basically they haven't even looked at the car at all they're saying there's five cars ahead of us um <coughs> Ooh, that drink is too cold and it is getting cold out so anyways uh there's five cars ahead of us and they're gonna try to look at it next week. So we still don't know what the problem is. So I'm just trying to keep you guys updated. And when I came to look at it, no update. They haven't even looked at it. So I do apologize about that, guys. So it is frustrating knowing that it's been here for two weeks and nobody's looked at it. All right, we are back home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's park this thing. This thing is so difficult to park in here. Especially because the trailer's over there. Alright, we got it in here though. A 
approximately 10 hours later. Alright guys, it is raining. We gotta get in the car and get out of here. Whew, this rain is not fun. Alright. Let's turn this baby on. So as I told you guys, when I ran my Hellcat at the track, it was on Winter Blend E85. It was the best E85 I could find. And I really think my car could run way faster than that. And it's very capable of running way faster than that. Well, we're gonna do something about it. So right now I'm headed to go grab some C85. It is like the best E85 you could possibly get. It's not even E85 you could get from a pump. You have to order this online and it's about $63 for five gallons so it's really expensive e85 and it makes you put down a lot more power it's definitely gonna help me a lot more at the track so i'm very excited to do that i'm also gonna grab a taser um basically it'll keep the fans on while the car is off so it can get cooled down at the track all these variables play into running a fast time it's not just a launch it's not just a car running it you know you want the car to be cooled on good fuel uh, you know of course, a good prep track would also help, but I'm not too worried about that because the track will be pretty well prepped. So, yeah, I'm just getting ready for tomorrow because we're headed to the track. Um, so we're going to go grab that and then we're going to come back and then we're going to talk Mustang. Unfortunately, I was going to take it out today to kind of continue my video because uh, something came up yesterday. So I had to continue the video today. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're about to take it out, but we still have a lot to discuss with the Mustang. So right now, I'm about to hit the road. It's raining. It's pretty annoying. I hate rain. So we're going to hit the road and go get the stuff, and I'll show you guys once I get there. This thing is by far the most comfortable thing I've ever driven. Also, the night vision right there, even though it's not dark out, it works really well at night. But man, let me know if you guys think I should review this, man. I've been driving it for like a whole week so far. And I've been loving it, honestly. It is such an amazing car. Just the most, honestly, the most comfortable thing ever. Like, it is so smooth. You don't feel the bumps on the in the road. You just, you just feel like you're floating the entire time. Also drives itself. It is just a spectacular car. But anyways, we are almost there to pick up the fuel, guys. All right, there it is. It's uh, riding presidential. There it is, C85. This is that good stuff right here. And I'm gonna put it back here. And then we're gonna get on the road and head back home. But yeah, check out the interior, man. I can't wait to review this for you guys. Let me know if you guys want to so I could get it done ASAP. So actually change of plans. Right now I'm about to head over to Anthony's. If you guys don't know who Anthony is, do work make sure you go subscribe to his channel i'll leave a link in the description good friend of mine has hellcat demon trucks pretty much everything so make sure you guys go check out his channel but anyways i'm headed there right now uh to grab him we're gonna check out his cars real quick and then we're gonna go get breakfast and then we're also gonna go get something to make it easier to put the c85 into my tank because i don't want it to spill i've seen a few things where it's like a tube attached to the to that and to the car and it just makes it much more simpler to put it without spilling anything so we're gonna try to go get that as well after we get breakfast all right guys we are pulling up to anthony's let me show you guys his truck he put his wheels back on that thing the rain stopped a little bit look at that oh man it looks so good so a few mods to this was of course the wheels and tires. I think he blacked out this, the tints, um, this, blacked this out, it used to be orange, this he made white. Let's see what else he did. He did a few more things, I just can't seem to remember. I think he put the cover on there as well, blacked out the tail lights, blacked this out, blacked this out, and put this right here but yeah i mean the stance on it is so beautiful also yeah right here the black that right there i think on top right there he blacked that out as well but yeah what do you guys think you guys think i should put some wheels on my truck and make it look something like this because this is so clean it's not too much you know it's just 
perfect the way he did it. The number one reason why I haven't put wheels and tires like that on my truck is because I don't want to mess with the ride. It rides so smooth and Anthony tells me that the ride changed once he put that. So I don't want to mess with that. I really like it to ride smooth the way it does. Also it's for towing. So I just want it to be as smooth as possible. So that's why I really haven't tried to mess with it. Alright guys, so we got the Demon here, the Hellcat, and the Durango. Is that fuel here? Yeah, right. So this is what they got, MS-109 for the Demon, which is like racing fuel, right? Yep. Okay, and these are like what? They're the, are they the same price as that? The 85 is little. Okay, cheaper. so this is what I mean. Yes, that's what we're going to get. This is what I want, makes it so much more simple, because when I put the funnel, it just starts... Mm -hmm. And just, you have a handle here. And yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's exactly what we're going to go get because the funnel just spills everything. So, yeah, we're about to head out and go get some breakfast first. So, we just got here. I actually want to look at that. Check out this razor. This thing is so cool. Wow, look how dirty it is. But anyways, we're about to go in there to get the stuff. They don't have C85. They don't have C85, but they have all the other C50, C93. Alright, let's see. Are you sure they don't have it? It smells good. It smells like a bunch of fuel. VP Blue, C14. Man, they got everything. You can. And here is what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this. I get this with one the nose. over this one because there's no. Uh, there's only one handle on this one. This one has two handles. Where? Oh, right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But where's the nose? Uh, Probably gotta get that separate. Yeah. All right. There's the nose. So we can't put that on camera. So we got the nose. Can you put that on camera? I don't want to put it. <laughs> there's some bikes right here, but yeah, there it is. We're gonna grab this and then put it in there. Alright guys, so we got the stuff. We're about to get in the car, drop Anthony off, and then get back home. So I just got home. I'm about to take the fuel and the can and put it in the garage, and then we're gonna get to what we're gonna talk about today. Alright guys, so we got the stuff in the garage now. The Hellcat is gonna get ready for tomorrow. Not much to really get ready. I'm just going to clean this off. I haven't really taken it out much. And I'm just going to leave the tape considering um, we're going to the track tomorrow. So there's no point of really removing all the tape. And we're going to go see what it could do. I'm going to clean this off as well. But now it's time to talk about this thing. My Mustang. Let's turn it on real quick and let it uh, warm up a little bit before we get into talking about it. So what I'm going to talk about is the 2018-2019 Mustang GTs like this one. Okay. A lot of them are starting to have so many problems. It is ridiculous how much problems they're having. Trans. It started to tick. Everything you could possibly think of, they're starting to have problems with. So let's go back about five months ago. A friend of mine from Cali, it started ticking. Um, his axle, um, something went wrong with it. I think it broke or whatever. Didn't race it at the track, nothing like that. It just broke. He took it to the dealership. They were giving him such a hard time because he doesn't have a YouTube channel. Because he uh, won't televise it to everybody that they're not taking care of him. They don't give him a rental. His car went in there for like three, four times. They're having a hard time trying to lemon it. He's getting a lawyer. Um, and, and they're not and again again all this without a rental they don't even give him a rental like yo take this rental because your stock car is having a problem from factory that isn't your fault a brand new car that has a few thousand miles on it so they didn't take care of him and I got scared honestly like I'm a Mustang owner and I got scared I'm like is this how they're gonna treat me and then fast forward 
to another friend of mine, Rush SRT, picked up his brand new car with zero miles on it. At a thousand miles, he started having problems. It's starting to tick, okay? And it's a brand new car, okay? It's a, it's a brand, brand new car. He didn't buy it used. It's a manual. And the other one was the auto, so now we know that it's an auto and a manual problem, okay? And it's starting to tick. And he goes to the dealership, and since he has a YouTube channel, they decided to actually take care of him. They're actually um, giving him a rental, helping him out as you should, whether you have a YouTube channel or whether you don't, okay? you should. That, that's how it should be. That's what good customer service is, especially when you buy a brand new car. You're putting your money, your hard work, earned money into, and it having problems right away at a thousand miles. So they took care of him, and then they gave him the car back, and they're like, oh, the ticking is normal. You know, that's just, you know, every car has it. No, because mine doesn't have it. There's a few other people that don't have it. So why is the ones that have it, it's normal? Like, I don't understand, okay? Please, explain to me why that's normal. That's not really normal for a car to be ticking. It's just not normal. But I guess it's a Ford thing. I love the brand, and I'm a new Ford owner, so I never had Ford all my life and then this is the, the first one that I've ever gotten and it's just disappointing what they're doing and especially if you don't have a voice they don't take care of you they don't they don't take care of you they don't give you rentals they don't do that so I hope more dealerships actually take care of their clients and give them rentals help them out when the car is stuck and it's running into problems and they're not even giving them rentals so anyways I'm hoping mine doesn't run into any sort of problems because I don't feel like doing that I don't feel like dealing with that I've had Mopar all my life and silly things like that never happen the ticking things like like stupid stuff like that especially a stock car I, I just don't understand and maybe it's just a new car out. It's just a new thing out. And also, another thing. I know someone else who as soon as they supercharged their car, an 18, it blew up. As soon as they supercharged it, it blew up. It wasn't even running aggressive. It wasn't nothing crazy. It's a good amount of boost, and it blew up. So all those things go into my head when I'm thinking to add a blower to the car. Like, will it just blow up? Well, I have to invest a lot more money than I want to in this car. And that's a reason I don't know if I'm going to supercharge it right now or not. I have the Hellcat. The Hellcat's running amazing. And I, no, I can't complain when it comes to the Hellcat. But with this, I don't want to have to run into these problems. And also, if any of you Mustang owners, because I know a lot of you guys that have them, follow me. A lot of you guys that went and bought them because of me. Let me know in the comments section if you guys are running into similar problems like ticking, Stupid stuff like that that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen when you buy a brand new car. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd really love to see how many of you guys are actually running into problems and what kind of problems they are. So list them in the comments below, please. But with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. So tomorrow is track. Take this thing down the track. Also, I'm waiting for the wheels for this. They were on back order, so I'm trying to figure out how and where to get on from so but if you guys like today's video give it a big thumbs up if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe to the channel to show your support and now it's time for you guys to go i will see you guys on the next one peace out